Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in beautiful Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean. And today we are gonna, well, we're on the island of Trinidad and we are gonna go on a food tour up the coast, starting on the east coast. We're gonna have some roast fish and then we're gonna make our way up into the mountains where we are gonna go to a cacao farm and they're gonna cook uh, some indigenous local food for us for lunch and then we'll be continuing on to probably the most iconic one of the most famous beaches in all of the island of trinidad called maracas bay my first ever bacon shark it's going to be an amazing day of delicious food and i'm going to share everything with you coming up right now in this video Really quickly before we start this video, I'm in the beautiful Trinidad and Tobago, and I just wanted to let you know, Mark Ween's and Kiva smoked ghost pepper is available now. It's an all-purpose seasoning. I love the heat, I love the flavor. You can really use it on just about anything you eat, from salad to soup to curries. It just, oh, it is so good. And it's available now. I'll have the link in the description box. We are on the east coast of the island of Trinidad today and we're beginning at a place called Dr. Fish. This is a hidden gem tucked away in the neighborhood. It's beautiful here. We're in for a treat today. We are gonna have some roast fish and I believe some lobster. Oh, this is so laid back, so chill here. <laughs> What's up, man? How's your camera? What's up, yes. I was, nice watching you. I was watching a video. This is such a cool setup here. Like. On the side, there's some grills and hot plates going. You can already smell the green seasoning. This is a beautiful setup. Oh, is that the green seasoning? Yeah, green okay. Seasoning. Oh, you can Shadow smell that. Benny. Shadow Benny. Yeah, smell it. Fresh thing. Garlic. Yeah, Shadow big Benny, big time, small time, time, big time, small time. It should be something nice inside. Oh yeah, you want to rub it all over yeah. skin on the inside. Yeah, best, way do, best way to do it with your hands. Okay, yes, you gotta, oh, and you've made some slits on the side so it fill yeah, it up so with that green seasoning. Yeah, straight down inside. You get some carrots yeah. on top. Plant into it. Oh, nice. Put some nice plants into the side. Okay, great. Sweet potato. Oh, sweet potato too. And a little cheese on top. Yeah, a little cheese. Wow. Can I go around to? You could you could only get this seasoned by Dr. Rose. Dr. Rust, only yeah. get it seasoned by Dr. Rust. Yeah. And then I'll slide on food. Okay. Oh. Okay. And that goes onto the hot plate. Yeah. So, make noise already? Yeah, it's starting to sizzle <laughs> immediately. Quite an assembly. That's quite a deluxe packet with the fish. So many things. Oh, there's something going on in the grill too. Oh, the lobsters are inside of there. Oh, they're already going. Oh, the lobsters. Almost forgot about the lobsters. That's gonna roast and bake and steam all together. Oh, the lobster. Oh, wow. Nice. What kind of seasoning have you done with the lobster, doctor? Uh, fresh seasoning, and you got a little, a little mix up with the garlic butter, with a little. Okay. That mix up with a little, a little fresh seasoning going up. And some cheese on top as well? Yeah, cheese on top. Oh, nice. 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 Gourmet cooking, Dr. Fish. Dr. Roast Fish. Oh yeah, this is hot pepper sauce. Yes. Yes. Okay, so there it is, the finished plate. The lobster plate by Dr. Roast Fish. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
garlic seasoning. And then that hot pepper. Yeah. Okay. All right, <laughs> Dr. Fish, here we go. This is the roast fish. Hot, fresh, all that seasoning. Thank you very much. We're sitting down on some tree stumps, laid back atmosphere. Oh, nice. And we've got, oh yeah, Zach, I need your help. So this is a fresh snapper, local snapper. Man, he does the green seasoning layer, then he roasts it, and then adds on a bunch of his own sauces. There's pineapple, there's corn on here, there's the hot pepper over here, and extra hot pepper, the whole bottle. Zach, let's go in. Oh, that is saucy. Oh, when toppled off the fork, oh no. It's okay, you can tell it's not overcooked, it's juicy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's fresh. The green seasoning is nice, really juicy. I'm gonna go in for a little bit of that hot pepper. Oh yeah. Oh, with the addition of the hot pepper. Oh, that, that hot pepper was awesome actually. I'm gonna try one of those plantains before we move over to the, before we move over to the um, lobster. Oh, and the cheese on top. That's a saltiness to it. Yeah, his secret ingredient, he grates on some cheese on the top to kind of like plaster it in, plaster all the juices in. Okay, and we got the lobster, which is absolutely fully loaded. Again, seasoning on top of seasoning, I think, Dr. Fish, I think he added pineapple and corn on top of here. And then those sauces and cheese on top. Oh man, we're gonna have to, we're gonna need some leverage to get this lobster out. I don't know if the plastic, yeah, I don't know if the plastic fork is gonna cut it. I'm gonna have to reach in with my fingers. Oh, meaty. Lobster, look at the amount of toppings. That's just fully loaded. And if, oh, you can smell the smokiness of it too. I'm gonna actually re-up on that. Re-up on that sauce. Mm. Oh, wow. The immediate smokiness. All of the like juices and steam of the lobster have been contained in that that uh, foil packet. So the juices just like re-embed into themselves. It's like it rains its own steam when it's inside. Then all of those sauces and the cheese. So we need some hot pepper. Mm. The juiciness of that lobster. Oh, that hot pepper sauce is delicious. So many things going on here. There's even fries down, plastered below. There's fries. A bit of that hot pepper. Oh, that was a delicious way, an amazing way to start this day. The roast fish was delicious. I love the smoky juiciness of that lobster. And Dr. Fish, uh, he's just such a like soft-spoken, such a kind man. From here, we're back on the road. We're heading up the coast and actually deep into the mountains. But that was an incredible journey to get here through the mountains. It's so lush and green and beautiful. Brazo Seco is a remote village in the mountains known for their indigenous community and for growing some of the best cacao on the island. We came here, well, to first have lunch, but then we're gonna learn about the cacao harvesting process. 
Bukane chicken. Bukane, Bukane. That is the way people used to preserve their meat for a long time, as we didn't have no electricity. So they would put more like salt on it and season it and put it there and all the water, just de well, basically dehydrate from the chicken. That will hold the smoke. Yeah. So quickly, we're going to see the process of the bukane, which is the indigenous traditional process of smoking, preserving meats. You'd light a fire, you'd put the meat over uh, wood and sticks in a grill and let it sit a couple feet above the smoke so that it just absorbs that smoke and it dehydrates. Put a banana leaf over it to steam it to also trap in that steam and smoke as well. So then with that chicken, smoked chicken, yeah. but then you cook it with... Coconut milk. Coconut milk, okay. So it is split peas and leaves and taro. Oh, split peas and taro, okay. A few dishes are already prepared. It smells delicious. We're gonna have rice, we're gonna have taro, and that smoked chicken smells incredible as soon as you open that lid. Um, and also some of the dashin, the taro leaves as well. Hello. Being in the buffet line, ready. <laughs> and this is the dal alu. Dal alu. Oh, dal with dashin? Yeah. With the leaves? Yeah. Oh, with the taro leaves, okay. And this and here is the smoke chicken. Oh, the aroma of that smoked chicken is so good. And all the different dishes. I mean, I think this has been like an adaptive indigenous meal of Trinidad. Um, like they were all mentioning is that electricity hasn't been here for that long. So when they would uh, hunt an animal or when they would have meat or have a chicken, the way to preserve it was to smoke it. This chicken has actually been smoked and then cooked in coconut milk and, yeah, so it's and sauces, down, right? Yeah, reduced so down. Jump into my drumstick. Jump into the drumstick. <laughs> Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm, so good. Taste that. The smoke rings all the way to the bone. Mm. Oh. So soft. Yeah. And juicy still too. Mm -hmm. And then at the and then at the same time, it's been like stewed down again with coconut milk to give it more flavor. I think I'm gonna pour on a little pepper sauce though to make it even better. Mmm. Mmm. Well, the chicken is amazing. And then with that pepper sauce, that fruity, spicy saltiness. Oh, man. The boiled taro, which taro you'll find all over. And then she just kind of sauteed it down with some aromatic cabbage and pumpkin and carrots and onions. Mmm. Taro is great. Nice Starchy. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, with the leaves too, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like how, how everything just kind of mingles together on your plate. It is, yeah. But definitely the highlight is that smoked chicken. The chicken is awesome. And you can, you, you can see as you go down, you can see all those herbs that are caked up in the chicken as well. That chicken is just flavoring. Big flavor to mix with all of those, those local carbs and roots. Smoked meat, the flavor just goes, goes a long ways. Smoked wing. I guess you're gonna stop by my place where we where we make the chocolate bars. Oh, okay. Right. So you have it's 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 starting from the the tree, 
to the bar. Tree to bar. Yes. Tree to bar. That is, the, that is the hike. So my first part is the, to show you a tree, talk a little bit. If, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I Thank actually kind of like questions. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You know, so. We're going to start walking around the estates and see the cacao. They really take care, produce some of the best quality cacao actually in the entire world. The indentation only reaches here. In the ah, breadfruit, okay. you have indentation the right to the, almost to the end of the leaf. Okay. So that's the difference because a lot of people what, at a glance, they say, hey, look at a breadfruit tree. Yeah, it looks when, like a when, breadfruit tree, the leaves. When it's not, yeah. an, it's not a breadfruit, it's a chatain tree. Ah, okay. So these okay. are chatain, and chatain. This, is, this is the flowers here. Okay. We're just passing by a chatain tree. But you can see, like, the branches are also a bit sparser. Yeah, it looks like, point, yes. right? Yeah. This is the correct... What's the name of this? Green food, I call it. Green food. Correct one? Yeah. <laughs> The other one that looks very similar is highly poisonous. This no, one. Poisonous, okay. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. This one is good for the brain. Yeah, this is good for the other one I mm. in salads. Salad. Very good. A little sourness and, and a little spinachy taste to it. Oh yeah, great. You got to get some brain food for the hike. <laughs> oh man, Carl is a walking encyclopedia of knowledge of herbs and plants and life knowledge. The Caribou was a, a distinct tribe. The Arawak were very distinct too. Indigenous people yep. groups from yeah, Trinidad? From, yeah, from Trinidad. Yeah. Okay. So people, most of the people who live in this community is part of those Carib and, and Arawak. Mm. Yeah. But these, this, these islands were so close to South America that they were traveling from Venezuela to come across here. Okay. So some of them just remained here. Uh, and especially in the advent of the cacao industry, then they just remain here because they are the people who know about cacao. These are trees that bear their fruits on the trunk as opposed to the end of the branches. Ah. Right? So all these are the flowers. You the said fruit. the tree is called coniferous. Yes, a coniferous. Com any tree that bears its fruit on the trunk is ah. a coniferous tree. Very interesting. Oh, we found a ripe one? Yeah. Oh yeah, I can reach it. Turn it, keep turning it, you can't pull it, keep turning. Yeah, you can't pull it out there, so keep turning until it reaches. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, you almost have it, keep turning. Oh, I love my tippy toes. Keep turning. Okay. So you don't want to watch, because you remember we talked about the first tree. Look at that color, yellow and now red, okay. They used to pay people long ago to clean this because oh, once the nipples are covered, it's not going to bear. So that's, this is the nipples. That's the nipple. Look, look them here again, you see? Yeah. So oh, this so is what we come for us. It produces more over. when, when, when it's it, clean. It, yeah, because they used to hire people. Trinidad used to be second largest producer of cacao in the world. Mm. So they used to hire people just to demoss these trees. In the that's wood is where, where, that's where, the, where the, the flowers yeah. form. Right. And that's so where it can cacao produce more. Exactly. Produce more fruit. Exactly. Ah, so you okay. need to clean off this because if this have a set of okay. thing on it like that, it can't be a nothing. These are ripe, but yes. totally different colors. Different varieties. Different varieties, okay. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the problem with them. This, so you said some type of hybrid, and this then is this a, one is a... This, this is the, the um, Trinitario. The Trinitario. So, the, so this is, is a natural hybrid. So that, oh, so that the Trinitario That hybridized in the wild. Oh. The other hybrids on them is what you we make. Look, look at you, don't worry. All right. Oh, yes. You see it? it? Smells so good immediately. Yeah, that, it smells really nice. Yeah. I know the seed is, um, watch. <laughs> you hold on to that too. Mm. Hold on, let me get a fruit for you. Where? Mm. So sweet and milky. Yeah, it's really good. Really good. Almost the same kind of taste as a soursop. Just kind of like that sweet, sour, milky creaminess. Oh, easy like that, you see? Give it a smash and then it cracks open. And then you could just suck the... The pulp of the thing now, and the seed is it low, The seed actually lowers your cholesterol levels. Oh, oh, that one is even sweeter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all different types. That one is even sweeter. So you can suck that membrane, delicious, sweet and sour, milky flavor off of it, and you can actually chew two of those beans. Oh, they're picking the kash is that a kashima? 
Oh, nice. Oh, in the sugar apple family, Kashima. It's like a custard apple. Yeah, it's in the same, fam same, same family. family, yes. Okay. But here it's called Kashima? Kashima, yeah. Kashima, oh, it's yeah. beautiful. I don't know who gave it the name, so somebody give it the name Kashima. <laughs> Such a beautiful, <laughs> yeah. Such a beautiful fruit. Directly from the, the tree, this is called the Kashima. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love these little, little spikes. They're nodes and them. Nodes, yeah. yeah. And they're kind of soft as well. And, and then, when they, when they, before they arrive, they're totally green. Oh, okay. Yeah, totally green. Gonna pop this open. Oh, you can feel the, the juice just squeezing oh, out of it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, and they, Oh, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. Just perfectly made to be consumed. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, there's few things better than fresh fruit off the tree. That's so creamy, slimy, and milky. Mmm. Sweet, sour, custardy. It literally is like custard, yeah. Almost can't contain the juices coming out of my mouth right now. Control, you see how they're just coming out here? Oh, you see? see the little flies. So they help to inoculate the beans. So you see how the, 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 the beans start to turn already? Yeah. Because they're lily white when you first come, when you first see it. Oh, yeah. So if you just press your hand here, you could feel, you feel the heat coming off of it. Yeah. Back 40 degrees Celsius or more. And that's where you want it. So you what, what, just watch it, you see? We're here to see the next process of, right. the, of the chocolate making. Right. And these are the seeds that we just ate, but right. this is the fermented. So how, how long would they ferment for? These will ferment for about seven days. So tomorrow is the okay. seven days. We're going to take it out on the seven day. Okay. Watch at the inside. You see, mm -hmm. if you would a, a, a bean that is not fermented, it's a totally different color. Okay. Oh yeah, more sour? Mm -hmm. That's kind of sour. More sour, more... Yeah, so all that is fast. So when it dries out, a lot of... Oh, that I like it. it a lot like of... a little vinegary. Exactly. Right. After it ferments, then it dries. Right. Sun dries for... Right. Four to five days or so and, and then from there you'll have the the chocolate nibs or the little the dried seeds that's right which can then be consumed as is as chocolate or can be further processed into yeah, bars or into right. or into the, the world the world of chocolate yeah, as we we know it um so welcome to the chocolate room this is what we um call the chocolate room because basically from the drying stage, every single thing after that could be done inside this room. So this one has been now roasted. Mm. That's that complex dark chocolate flavor. It's where we will put all the ingredients, right? So in here, it has the cocoa nibs, cocoa butter, and sugar. So this is the cacao. This is extra cocoa butter and sugar. Mmm, really creamy. Oh yeah. So that's the entire process, all the way from the fruit to the chocolate bar. This one is the dark chocolate, seventy percent. Oh wow, yeah. A combination with the coffee. Oh yeah, if you love coffee, you're gonna love that. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. From here, we're driving down to the coast, to one of the most famous uh, beaches in all of Trinidad and Bays. And we're gonna eat a food that I think is also one of the most famous foods in all of Trinidad. All right, so we have a chunk of shark here. Yes, Mako shark, yes. Mako, what type? What type of shark is it? Mako. Mako shark, okay. So we're at Uncle Sam's and Son's Bacon Shark. Is it like a something that you have to eat when you're have here? To. At, that's that's at one of Maracas the first Bay. things. And it's also one here. of the most famous foods, I think, in all of Trinidad. Yes, correct. So we're starting all the way from the a big chunk uh -huh. of shark. Oh, yeah. So much meat. Yeah, it's a lot of meat. It's in a bowl in the center. So bacon shark is one of those foods that you've heard of before you before I ever came to Trinidad. I've heard of bacon shark. I was excited to try it. So finally here in the place where it originates. Oh, I'm so excited. And we're gonna see the entire process of how they make it here, starting with a big chunk filet of shark that's gonna be marinated and fried along with the bake, which is actually not 
baked at all, I think, but we'll find out. So you want like pretty thin slices. Yes, yes. yes. Getting some thin slices. So if they put it like this in the beak. Ah, okay. So it lays flat. This is our spice here. Is this the green seasoning? Yes, it's the green. This is cilantro. Okay. Garlic. The shadow benny, garlic. Yeah. Ginger. And hot pepper? Pepper, yes. Hot pepper. pepper, okay. And this is black pepper. I put a little bit just for the flavor now. If okay. it's fish, you know, you need, you know, fresh seasoning. Nothing much of it does. Our, our seasoning that we do everything and make a package. Okay. So shark seasoning. What about? Cordoba, lemon, make like a little the Trinidadian green seasoning treatment. Shake up, get everything in it. That gets kind of like a watery, like a watery seasoning marinade. And then the shark slices go in there and that's gonna marinate for a few minutes before it's fried to go with the bake. Six pounds of flour. Must put brown sugar for the bake to come out nice and golden brown. Flour for tea, so. so I put like probably a um, quarter pound sugar, yeast. This is a amount to yeast. Salt for taste. Baking powder, Ryan's baking powder. Water. I have to keep it soft and moist, smooth. So it's quite a special dough yeah. and it's like silky smooth yeah. but kind of want it to be fluffy fluffy and like aerated at the same time, light and fluffy. Okay, so this is the dough after it's been rested. <laughs> and then it's made into individual ball sized for the, for the bakes. And then, I mean, they don't cook it, you order it, they cook it fresh. That's gonna go into the oil right now. Freshly rolled out yeah. directly into the oil. What about 12? About 12? What about 12? So in fact, it's actually not a really baked at all. The bread is not baked. It's actually deep fried. Oh, and it kind of floats to the surface, puffs up, up and floats to the surface and bobs around in the oil. Oh, it's beautiful. That's ready. Now we're gonna fry the shark. So that's the marinated My shark channel, now. Yes. It goes into a flour bath. Yeah. Plain flour. Just gets a coating of flour to make it crispy. Yeah. So along with the bacon shark, one of your signature items is also yeah. the, the pie with shrimp. Yeah, potato pie. Potato pie with shrimp, the aloo pie with shrimp. Okay, so we're gonna see that process as well. But that's the potato mixture goes in the center. Okay. That's folded over. Kind of roll it out a little bit. A 
Oh, will that go into the fryer? Yes. So that alu pie gets yeah. stuffed. Yeah. It gets uh, pinched together in an envelope and then like flattened out then directly into the deep fryer. So you put the meat So those shrimp get the same marinade as the shark into the flour and then into the oil to deep fry as well. Side of pocket. Fully loaded. All right. Okay, so that's the alu pie with shrimp. Shrimp alu pie with yeah. shrimp. Shrimp. Sir. Thank you very yeah, much. You. Uh, you come out here. That's a it's a big open air countertop facing the sea, and then you get your bacon shark, you get your alu pie, and you can go dress and season as you like over at the the buffet seasoning station. I'm gonna load up with the, the hot pepper sauce first. Going heavy, going heavy on the pepper. Heavy on the pepper. The garlic sauce. The garlic sauce. And a squeeze of the sweet tamarind sauce. All right, and the shadow benny. You gotta have shadow benny. The culantro sauce. Maybe a bit of this. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm going for the hot pepper sauce. You put pineapple on the olive pie too? Put it all on? Just a few slices on the... A few cucumbers. Start to build a mountain. Fully, fully loaded. Yep, let's go. Oh yeah. Zach, how many times have you done this? The, the walk, the walk from the bacon shark to the beach to take your first bite. <laughs> oh, this is a, a Trinidadian pastime right here. <laughs> oh, it's coming high tide right now. It's coming up high. I think it's perfect right here. We should just stand right here. With the breeze in the back. My first ever bacon shark. Oh, I can't wait. I can't contain myself. This is one of the most famous foods of Trinidad. It's something I've been waiting my whole life to try. Oh, it's just cradled within that fresh bake. And again, it's not actually baked, it's a fry. Oh, it's huge, <laughs> loaded with all those sauces and pepper and garlic. Look at the layers of that. Oh, and that's amazingly sturdy and stable. The engineering on that, that bake. The bread, it's amazingly like, like balloony, but it actually is like quite stable. It's fried on the outside. Um, okay, let's go. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, the seasoning on that. Oh, because it's that marinade, that seasoning, that initial juicing of the shark before it's then breaded and deep fried, it just like seals in all of that spice and seasoning. And then with all those toppings, oh man, the shadow benny, the pepper sauce, the garlic, tamarind to like bring it together. It is an amazingly perfect combination with the shark because it's slightly gooey, it's fluffy. It's like really light, but it's kind of crispy and oily all at the same time. Tide is coming up, but man, that bacon shark is, man, it's good. And that shark itself is just like a fish, but really firm. Wow, that is tasty. Okay, Zach, come on in here. Let's do the alu pie. Let's do a break in the center if we're not gonna destroy it. Okay, we'll break in the center of the alu pie. Look at that nice cross section, fill up with one, one shrimp that fell out. But again, that shrimp is marinated in the same thing as the shark. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's incredible too. Mm. 
fried aloo, the fried potato with the jira. Yeah, that gives it another texture. Yeah, plus more of the Indian, the yeah, Indian flavor, flavor with the, with the jira, yeah, with the, the potatoes, the spiced potatoes, the coriander. And a nice puff of the shrimp. The shrimp is nice. The shrimp is like bouncy. It's just a handful of sauces and onions and shadow benny. Mm. It's fried yeah. perfectly. Like it's it's not it is. cooked. It's not no. cooked. And it doesn't even feel greasy. <laughs> it just feels like comforting and warming yeah. in your stomach. Mm. It's amazing how stable and well engineered that bread is. That just went down so easily. Final bite. Mmm. Oh, wow. That was worth coming to Maracas Bay. Okay, so finally to end this tour and this day, we've come up to the lookout, the Maracas lookout. Pretty much everyone I think stops here either. Oh, hello, hello. Yeah, look at that sunset tonight. It's beautiful. Yeah, over here. Sorry, that's... <laughs> Milk in the sun? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, you just chunk like it up. Swish it up and, and, and then you just take it. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's sweet. The snow cone is a great way to wrap up this day after that bacon shark. It's like dessert. Mm hmm. At the end mm -hmm. of the, yeah. And you can kind of keep mashing the ice until it liquefies. All right, another excellent day in Trinidad and Tobago. Always good to hang out with Zach, Vanessa. Big thank you to Visit Trinidad for sponsoring this entire trip, for arranging everything and setting everything up. And there will be a lot more videos about Trinidad and Tobago, so stay tuned, all the videos. We're traveling all around eating the best food and just learning about the amazing culture and incredible people. So stay tuned, lots more videos, and I will see you on the next video. Good night, see you on the next video.